A lot of you commented about the grass in my last video, so I modeled some new grass, chucked it back into my game, and hope to have some redemption from the grass critics in the comments. What's going on everyone? In this video, I have two goals in mind. One, I want to add multiplayer to my game, and two, I want to add base building to my game. So as usual, I searched up how to add multiplayer in Unity and found a good tutorial series from Dapper Dino. Four to six days later. Thanks to Dapper's tutorial series, I have now learned how to create a simple start menu where I can host the game. Then I can also connect to a game by typing in the super secret IP address. And now I have two players in my game that can now see each other. What's your name? What? What's your name? Tony! What's your name? My name is Jeff. I cannot be more serious when I say all I had to do to get multiplayer working was install a package called Mirror, add a network manager component to my game, drag in my offline and online scenes, drag in my player prefab, then finally to sync my player's movements over the network, I just had to add a network transfer component to my player. So that's my first goal easy and done, but we have one little problem. Both characters are beans. So let me figure out how to make them look like an actual character. After doing some research, I found that there is a good website called Mixamo where I can get a ton of characters and animations for free. But the more I thought about it, there was a much simpler solution to my problem. Some time has passed since the last clip and I couldn't find any good tutorials for a building system. Mainly the only tutorials I saw out there were snapping to a fixed grid, which is not what I wanted. I wanted to be able to place an object anywhere, then have other objects snap to it. So I spent some time on this and I came up with a system of my own and it's pretty simple. So let me go ahead and explain this here. So in order to create the building system I wanted, I had the idea of using connection points and that way I can have any shape object and it would still work. So for this particular cube, I put a connection point on each face and I did that by using an empty game object. Then to figure out what connection point to snap to, I just shoot a ray cast from the player. And if I hit a connection object, then I do some math to find the closest connection point. And this works pretty well for what I wanted. I can snap to each face of the cube or I can freely place anywhere on the ground. After I got this basic building system working, then I worked on creating a bunch of more primitive objects. So I have the cube, the floor, a wall, a door, I have a window, and a couple ramps. After that, I worked on adding rotations. So you can see everything snaps as you expect, but if I use R, then it will rotate around and I can even fine tune my rotations with Q and E, and that works on the ground as well. So I wanted each of the objects to have more variations. So I added seven more colors and six gradient scale colors, and you can see that in action here. And if you click C, you can even see that the preview itself changes so you know what color you're on. There's a lot of things I added to this building system to make it more enjoyable. I won't go over everything, but an example is I added smarter placement. So if I look at this wall from this side, it knows to place the floor closer to me. But if I flip around to the back, then it knows to place the floor on this side. And that happens without me having to manually rotate. Last few things I wanted to mention about my building system is that although I can toggle through the objects with F and toggle through the colors with C, uh, that's not very feature complete. So I created a quick menu where if I hold tab, um, it'll bring up a menu with all the objects. And if I hover over one of them and let go of tab, it selects that object to place that also works with the colors. So that wraps up my building system. There's two more things I did to polish up the game. One, I watched this video from Game Dev Guide to create a saving system. Now I can create new worlds or load save worlds. And two, I did something a bit out of my element and I read the Steam documentation. And instead of inviting people by giving them my IP address, I can now hit escape and invite them through Steam. To give this project a proper send off, I invited my brother to do some playtesting. Ayo. 10 minutes later, he finished his first artwork. And being the brother that I am, I couldn't help but to continually snipe out his building platforms. Bruh. <laughs> Bro! <laughs> he then decided to add a top hat, and since it started to look like Walter White, he finished the art by adding a very, very hot, let's say, sub sandwich. How's that for your, um, <laughs> for your video? Then to make use of the rest of the blocks, I challenged him to create a house. So that's it for this project. We have now tackled a FPS controller, procedural generation, and now a building system. If you have any ideas for the next project, let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next one. Peace.